Okay, this may sound crazy, but the new iPhone 12s probably have better picture quality than the TVs in our living rooms. Hey everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison, and if you missed Apple's October 13 iPhone 12 announcements, I can tell you that Apple spent a lot of time talking about, well, 5G, there was a whole love letter to Verizon involved, but there was also a lot of time spent talking up the new iPhone 12 series display capabilities, as well as the new phone's ability to record and display Dolby Vision, as well as other HDR formats. We'll get to the Dolby Vision part in a moment, but first, let's talk about the screens on these new phones and how they compare to the TVs you can buy today. So Apple calls its new display technology Super Retina XDR. Well, what does that mean? It sounds like a souped up version of the Retina displays that we've seen in the past. However, I don't think that the improvements here are just incremental. They sound much more substantial. At the foundation of these displays is an OLED panel. And for perspective, I've given an OLED TV best TV of the year award for the last seven years. It's those black levels that really make OLED special. Because OLED pixels make their own light and can be turned on and off independently, OLED can produce perfect blacks. And when you have those perfect blacks, that makes for deeply impressive contrast. But if you were to try to watch an OLED TV outside where there's lots of bright light or glare, the picture wouldn't be as impressive. For that reason, the OLED panels we see in phones, and specifically in the new iPhone 12 phones, is a different kind of OLED screen. Phones use what is called a pentile OLED panel. And the key here is in the difference between these OLED panel types. TV OLED panels, which are all made by LG Display, use a white subpixel, which has a color filter over it to pluck out red, green, and blue primary colors. Here's the thing about color filters though. In order to get red from white, for example, you have to carve out all the wavelengths but red, and that reduces brightness. The cool thing about phone OLEDs though is that they use one red, one blue, and two green pixels. There's no color filter involved. So these phone screens can get fairly bright. You still have to be careful about overdriving them, heating them up too much, and potentially getting screen burn in though. It's not like they defy the laws of physics. And that's what makes Apple's claims about its displays both impressive and also highly suspect. See, Apple says its new iPhones can produce up to 1200 nits of brightness. But hold on, what's a nit? A nit is display speak for a unit of brightness, and to put things into perspective, most OLED TVs max out at about 700 nits. 1200 nits is much brighter and more in line with what you could get from an LED TV. But in an OLED with perfect blacks, that 1200 nits would make for some amazing contrast. Here's the thing though, Apple doesn't make the screens that go into its phones. In the case of the iPhone 12 series, those screens will most likely have been made by Samsung. Samsung uses the same screens in its own phone, so if Apple's phones can do it, then Samsung should be able to as well, right? Not necessarily. Just as it is with TVs, it's not the screen that makes the pretty pictures, it's how the screen is used. If it was just the screen pulling off all the magic, then LG, Sony, Panasonic, and Vizio OLED TVs would all look the same, but they don't. The difference is in processing, heat management, power management, and other factors. I'll just say this now, there is no way Apple's iPhone 12s are putting out 1200 nits of brightness in any meaningful way. They totally cooked the books to get that number. But if Apple is making that kind of claim, then it is more than likely that it has managed to make an even brighter OLED display. And that means that its phones will offer better contrast than we have seen in a phone before. And if they do everything else right, its phones may very well have picture quality better than the OLED TVs that we have today. That's really something. But then add in that these phones can not just display Dolby Vision HDR, they can record it. That means you not only get amazing looking movies and TV shows from Netflix and Apple TV, but you can record your own and enjoy it on the phone's screen. Now, I don't think that the average Joe is going to be making Dolby Vision content that looks as good as what the folks in Hollywood make, but it will probably mean that it will be the most impressive video we've seen taken by a phone, at least until the competition starts doing it as well. Sure, the screens are smaller, and they can't give you anything that comes close to a cinematic experience, but more and more people are watching content on their phones instead of their TVs. So it's nice to know these new iPhone models are going to be putting out image quality that rivals our TVs. 
thanks as always for watching everyone. How do you feel about the iPhone 12 possibly looking better than your TV, even if it is small? Leave me a comment down below. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.